You know, guys, I still can't get over the coincidence of that homeless guy coming here trying to sell that bird statue. Yeah, right after we were out at the dump looking for the same thing. Mm. You know, when we were out there, I saw a bum going through the trash. I asked him if he'd seen the statue, but he said he hadn't. What did he look like? Well, he had on an old tattered coat and an orange wool hat. That sounds like the same guy that came to the door. You know, I should have had you come out and talk to him. But the guy that I saw said he hadn't, that he hadn't seen the statue. Well, maybe he didn't find it until after you talked to him. You know, Eve, if you really want to track it down, I was just thinking I told him that he could probably sell it at that collectible store, out on Front Street. Are you all right, T.C.? Is your leg giving you trouble again, T.C.? I'm okay. Can a man scratch his leg without his best friend and his wife thinking that he's falling apart? Well, if I ever fall apart, I hope I'm as in as good a shape as you, T.C. Uh, T.C., seriously, why don't we go to the hospital and I order an x-ray for this leg? Sweetheart, I'm fine, okay? Please, don't worry about me. Well, I gotta get going. I gotta go to the hospital and check out my patients. Hey, why don't you and T.C. join us for dinner tonight? Yeah, that's a good idea. T.C. can hang here until you get back from the hospital. Yeah, making a pork roast. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Grace. Thank you. So I'll see you all later. Okay. I hope I won't be too long. Come on, baby. I'll walk you up. Sweetheart, you look tired. You've been running yourself ragged. I'm all right, T.C. Maybe you shouldn't have went to the dump looking for that puzzle for me. You know what, sweetheart? You have to start thinking about yourself for a change. Because if anything were to ever happen to you... Oh, man, I, I just love you so much. Oh, jeez. Eve, what is it? Nothing. It's just... I love you too, TC. I always will. Love you too. Crane residence. Pilar? It's Eve. Hello, Dr. Russell. I'll take that, Pilar. Eve, what is it? Why are you calling? I'm afraid I have some bad news, Julian. The bum we saw at the garbage dump? He has the bird statue. What? Damn, let bird never die. I can't believe it. Bird keeps resurfacing. It's worse than a cat with nine lives. Now, where is it? Do you have it? Well, no. The bum came to Grace's back door trying to sell it. So Grace has it? Well, no. She gave the bum some money, but she didn't buy the statue. I don't even know if it's the same statue, Julian. <sighs> Can't take any chances. Now, you have to find that bum and get that damn bird back. Me? This is not just my problem, Julian. Now, if it is our bird... And it falls into the wrong hands. It could ruin all our lives. Mine and TC's, yours and Ivy's. And our children would be terribly hurt. All right, other than going back to the dump, how can I help? Meet me in the alley off Front Street. I'm going to check out a collectible shop around the corner. Up and down this entire wharf. Some sign of I think we should go back to the dump. Maybe he went back there. <sighs> Suppose we'll have to. Julian, we have to find him before he opens up that statue and finds the pictures that you took of us. You know, I wouldn't mind reliving a bit of Take your hands off me, Julian. Remember, I once threatened to cut off your fingers with a scalpel. You weren't serious. <laughs> <laughs>
You touch me again and you'll find out just how serious I am. Oh, you always were such a tiger. And you play the part of the righteous Dr. Russell so well. Perfect wife, respectable physician. And I remember you when you enjoyed our little photo sessions together, my dear. I was a very different person than Julian. I was young and needy. Yes. You were very, very needy. And T.C. rescued me from all that. <laughs> T.C. rides in on his white horse and spoils all the fun. <clears throat> he saved my life. Oh, thank God he never found out about us. Yeah, well, that is a plus, I must admit. And since T.C. never did find out about us, then I wonder why he hates you so much, Julian. What did you do to him? That's ancient history, my dear. <clears throat> T.C.'s hatred for you is alive and well today, Julian. He won't even let you be Whitney's tennis sponsor. Why, what happened between you two back then? Uh, I'd rather not go into that right now. Let's just hope that that bird statue is gone forever. Hmm? Julian, there he is. That's the man we've been looking for. Hello? Do you remember me? Yeah, down at the dump. That's right. <laughs> I asked you if you had found the statue of a bird, and you said you hadn't seen anything like that. And you were the jerk who wouldn't give me a quarter for a lousy phone call. How dare you? How dare you? I, I apologize for my friend's rude behavior, but I did give you a quarter, remember? Yeah. Well, I'm still looking for that bird statue. Did you find one after I left the dump? Uh, what's so, uh, what's so important about that bird? It's not so important. I collect them. Statues of birds. It's a hobby of mine. <laughs> it figures. Yeah. Did you find anything like that? Yeah, I found something like that. Oh, thank heaven. You just sold it. You sold it? Uh, to, to whom? I didn't get their name. Give me a phone number if I find another one. I'll give you the call. Oh, would you? Oh, yes. Please do. We would, uh, would appreciate that very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Somebody has a bird statue. They could be opening it and looking at the pictures inside right now. Who could it be? 